bumper off, which is relatively easy. You have a screw that goes up in here, one down here, and another in the middle, and that's on both sides. Then you also have these plastic covers that sit in here like this is for the other, like so. I think this one's for the other side, but so you're gonna wanna remove these and this is gonna give you access to your intercooler piping hose right here. So more so, once you get into the engine bay, you're gonna wanna remove that cover, which is that guy right there. And there's three bolts and they screw in right here. Um, you're just gonna need like a star key or a star screwdriver to remove that. Um, and then this is your throttle body. So I started because I'm still actually waiting on my pipes to come in the mail. They should be here in a couple hours, I'm hoping. Um, you can go ahead and start removing some of the piping. Um, what I'm actually going to be doing is utilizing this. Um, so right here you have a vacuum line and this is going to run, well actually, um, yeah. So right here you have a vacuum line and also a sensor that plugs into the intercooler piping. And this is attached actually to your radiator fan. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is using this. So I'm gonna keep this size. It sucks that it downsizes to, I'd say probably a two inch diameter. Um, I would like to run a full thing at two and a half inches, uh, but I don't feel like welding on a, or manufacturing some sort of mount um, for this right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this hard plastic tube and it should run um, decently down and connect right in here to the rest of this hose. Um, so from that, you can go ahead and start removing pipes. Now I have a coupler here and this goes from a two inch diameter to this two and a half, which I intend on running a pipe directly to the throttle body here. Um, then furthermore, what I intend to do is remove these pipes, actually keep my old intercooler in there, I believe. Um, so that way, in case I ever end up wanting to swap back the stock for say if the eBay kit doesn't work out right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there which is simple enough because all you have to do is remove these, pop it off, and then I'll be mounting my intercooler right about here. And obviously I'm gonna have to modify the bumper a little bit right there, cut it so that way it fits. Um, I don't really care, it's a budget build, so it can look a little bit janky and I'm okay with that. Um, and this pipe actually runs all the way underneath here. So this is gonna be the hard part. It's going to be using, um, I guess, non-formed metal uh, aluminum pipe to somehow make that work and run it all the way back up to the turbo. So I will let you guys know how that project or how that project goes. Another tip is if you have a heat gun or even a hair dryer, um, that will really help you with pulling these couplers off. Uh, once you loosen up the um, pipe clamps, it generally is still stuck on there just from operating temperatures. So use a heat gun to heat it up, and those things will come right off. Removing the driver side hose from that plastic hard pipe I talked about um, is pretty simple. You have one here and also another hose clamp right about there. So the passenger side is a little bit trickier. Um, you have one that's right here. That's easy to get to. That'll fold right out of the way. The second is tucked away back there. Now, I don't know if you can see from here, but that's squeezed in between my radiator fans and what looks to be part of my transmission. So in order to get to that, I think because I'm not gonna be removing the radiator, I'm going to try to jerry-rig something and drop it down from the top. Um, if you'd like to make this job easier on yourself, I need to put this back on. You can remove this. What you're gonna have to do is, um, first off, 
you have a bunch of bolts that holds, for example, your headlight in, and then these all mount this, uh, I guess, cross member, subframe, whatever you want to call it, um, mount it down to the actual car. Um, and then you're also going to need to remove a couple things here. You have your wire rack, um, and this is just helps lock in your trunk or lock in your hood. Um, and then you also have to remove this. Now here, Saab puts a little safety feature on with the rivet so that way they can kind of know if you take it into the dealership, whether you fucked with it or not. So um, you might have to remove that or break it. Um, if you do intend to remove your radiator, I'm going to try to leave this on there because stock life, man. And then this I'm showing you just because I think half of you will like this. And half of you will dog on me for my mechanic skills. This little extendo dildo thing here will shove, actually, instead of going from up top, right in here. And then you can reach it. What I think I've actually come up with is instead of replacing this form pipe, I'm going to keep it just because it has the proper mounts and it's going to maintain ground clearance um, for when I eventually do coilovers and want to drop this thing even lower. Last thing I want to do is scrape a hole through my aluminum piping. Now that this pipe is removed, I'm going to go ahead and get another two inch to two and a half inch coupler. Um, and then I can go ahead and use the intercooler piping kit that I have to hopefully run down through here, wrap around and come directly back to my intercooler that I'm out on the front. Buddy's here to take me to the auto zone. Okay. Essentially we ran into an issue where just stock sizing, um, made it very difficult to find couplers, especially considering I already started the project. Um, I had actually just misread some information regarding the size of the throttle body, um, as well as the bottom connection of this differs than the top. So um, I had a couple difficulties. Um, eventually, thank God I live next to Summit Racing, so I was able to figure that out. Um, thank you, Summit Racing, for that. And I will be leaving this top in. So this stock coupler, which will be nice, then I can actually use that plastic cover without having to cut it, um, will stay in, and then I'm going to be running the actual piping, which here is the kit, all aluminum, not bad. Um, I will be essentially just using what I need from that to run it around from here in the front. So this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna show you what we use. Um, running from the back, we have that straight pipe that comes out to this 90. And from a 90, it goes into a small cut 45 to this longer cut 45. And that'll actually couple right up with the intercooler. The intercooler we mounted with, um, these were 5 sixteenths um, dash 18, I believe is what it said. Um, so the thread, obviously that's gonna be something you have to mess with on your own, depending on the intercooler you get also. Um, and then we just drilled holes. You're gonna need a special drill bit to be able to manage to cut through the hardened steel behind that bumper. Um, and then on this side, we ended up running it, and this is a little bit jerry-rigged just because of the lineup from that plastic part uh, that I intend on keeping. So we have a 90 running down from the downsize, or this is the two to a two and a half inch coupler running through a 90, and then this is back into the 90 um, coupler, and then into a smaller pipe that runs back into the intercooler. And so once we get the clamps on this, um, we can go ahead and start fitting up the bumper and seeing what we need to trim up. Everything's hooked up, bolted up, and what we had to do is actually remove the bumpers upside down. It's a little hard to see right now. Let me try to flip it. So we just used a utility knife to actually cut these out. Not the prettiest thing, but it allows the pipes to fit. And if you're into that look, you get to see the pipes running into the intercooler. We also removed the mesh that went in this area and the little, so this is a little wobbly. I might do something about that later and cut this piece right here um, that mounts to the shroud beneath um, so that way this doesn't hit the intercooler. Um, furthermore, there was tabs along here that were also cut off so that way this doesn't hit the intercooler. Bumper is back on and cleared out. And here's our view. Not bad.